from fellow lock pickers to the Lock Lab 101 channel. Uh, this is going to be part four of the View Within series of videos where we're looking at improving techniques and understanding how mortise locks open. Uh, and the subject for today is going to be the binding order. And the binding order within the lock is uh, determines um, which lever you're going to pick and in what order to get the lock open. Um, if you look on the top of the picture of the internals, you can see the bolt stamp moving up against the lever pack and the uh, pressure of that bolt stamp against the lever pack will be binding the levers um, that need to be picked first. So if we go to the front of the lock and you can see lever one and lever two are both very loose uh, and if we lift them they just drop straight back down again. Um, but then if we go to the other side of the lock, if we go to lever five, you can see that lever five is actually binding and staying up. Um, and if we go, say, for example, to lever three, lever three is, is partially binding. Let's just get the pick underneath the right lever here. So lever three is partially binding, but it's not really staying up there. So um, when you have a lever that's partially binding and then you try and lift another one that's further up in the binding order, then what tends to happen is that lever will, will drop when the other lever sets. And so you start chasing your tail and, and lifting levers. But if you, if you um, pay attention to the ones that, uh, that are staying up, you'll get a good idea of what the binding order is. So in this lock, the, the lever that's giving me the most binding and therefore the lever that probably needs to be picked first is this lever five. And so if we lift that up to where it needs to be um, in its true gait, and then if we go to lever four, lever four is rubbing against the bolt stump I'm going to back the tension off slightly to allow it to lift up smoothly and if we get it to where we think we need it to be it feels like it should be somewhere around about there now I'm going to get underneath the levers and go to lever three and lever three is now binding quite firmly so if I lift that up keep lifting it's, it's binding quite strongly now, so I'm going to back the tension off a little bit, lift it up right up where it needs to be. There we go. So lever five bound first, <clears throat> four second, lever three was the third one. So let's get under in lever two. This wasn't binding before, but as you can see now, that lever is lifting up and it's staying up. And then if we get to lever one, that's really bound now. And if we lift that up, keep lifting up to where the true gate is on that lever. And as you can see, the bolt stamp slides into the lever pack and we've got an open on the lock. So the binding order on this was five, four, three, two, one. Not always. Sometimes you might find the middle lever three or four will bind first. But on this particular lock, uh, we worked out that it was binding from the curtain side of the lock backwards. And that's typical actually for, um, for the fortress um, range of locks. Okay, I hope that helps.